Okay. Hi, I'm Geodav and been a long time, I know, but a few people have been asking me how to add or change the the character mesh within uh what was it first person shooter multiplayer template. Okay, so as you, anybody who's got this template will know it's this is the map that you get standard okay so let, let's get straight into this uh, content draw let's see if I can get this open All right you can see here I've got a DAVCORP folder and yeah UT40K that's me as well and Marine that's me All right, this is my character as you can see one of my very well, not mine. This was actually made by somebody else a long, long time ago. Uh, I do have his name wrote down somewhere, but hey, you remember it. I think it was from the uh, uh, the, the other mod group, not the Unreal Tournament ones, the uh, Battlefield. Battlefield 40k guy, he actually modelled the majority of this and because it was a bit higher res and a bit better I used it in my next versions obviously for Unreal Engine 5 we're going to have to do better but anyway the main thing about this is the skeleton now let's see if I can get, get my preview mesh up again here we go my marine now when you import your character mesh make sure let's see oh, oh, jumping back and forwards here in a minute uh, let me just jump back to this all right here we have the uh, manny mannequin now when you look at this skeleton you'll see a hell of a lot of bones hell of a lot of bones lots and 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 lots Okay, now from recent experience, I can tell you, you don't need to have all these bones in. Your skin blend, uh, what was it, Maya calls it, I don't, I don't know, but uh, which, whichever program you use, whether it's Maya, Max, blender you really need to make sure you have all the bones well I say all the bones but uh, I don't actually use all the bones on this but the, there are even if you don't skip I know I'm sort of like going a bit haywire here but even if you don't skin or weight any vertices to the bones they actually have to be in the file okay now there's trial and error there's a lot that you can leave out but the sum that you need to make sure are in now you can see here on on this picture this part of the video the the ones that are in white actually have well I won't say actually have because I don't think you use clavicle out but uh, uh, let's just go back to my mesh let's see if we can see any difference there no not much but uh, you don't have to have them all weighted okay but they do have to be in and a recent example that I was doing for a friend is I thought oh I've never used the IK bone so I'll ju just leave that out and it took me a quite a while to realize that the quite a few of the animations in game not when you look in here but actually in game use the IK system so make sure you actually have these implemented in your skin file whatever it is you call it uh, make sure that they're all in and trust me 
I've tried to uh, use other systems use this rig it's very very complicated in places as you can see here there's lots and lots and lots and lots of extra bones to use but as you can see I mean calf corrective uh, knee back uh, knee right knee right end twist and all this uh, my guys wearing armor so I don't really think I'm going to need to, this but a lot of this is for if especially if you're using organics you're gonna these will help with your animations okay that's one of the the big points make sure your rig is complete make sure your characters imported and you have uh, where is it I can't see it here at the moment so it doesn't really matter make sure you have the physics asset actually set physics asset here we go set to the money one either that or you make your own one and just means more money uh, but what will go from there is where do I if I start this uh, let's just go load in yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I, I know where this is going to go on and I'll just deploy all right we see that's it press P and you get that skin maybe not what you want but that's what you get and for some reason it doesn't look right but hey ho press escape right so there we had the money now to get your one we'll go it here and go into FPS it's very simple very very simple uh, let's see blueprints character classes BP character class double click on that viewport now you see money uh, the mesh and instead of skeletal mesh money we go skeletal mesh where is it not the assault rifle not the, 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 the attack marine there we go as you can see he has that material on him <laughs> yeah compile save close that down go into play deploy yeah eight seven six five four three two one and bingo pop goes weasel yes I haven't changed the first person arms okay but that's in the same place now if I press P I get my old space marine now you can see he's not got his weapon now that is an issue so let's go back to that and now there was something I did something the other day that cured that and I can't remember what it is but anyway uh, let's see uh, hang on uh, change weapons there we go we've got the pistol and uh, go back to uh, yeah, there we go All right, if you if you reload or swap weapons you can see he's got it there and scalings looks a bit iffy but there you go. anyway right there you can actually see he's got the uh, the material that is set by the game so let's see uh, let's see I did have it now if we go, go back into the blueprints now uh, where did I see it uh, set it uh, uh, I've got it here All right set team color All right, it is in the player BP player character and here he gets set team color self target player state AC team whatever that is because I'm still not up to date 
get the team if it's zero then you use those materials if it's not zero if it's the other one then you use those materials and that's how he, s he set it uh, I'm not going to start criticizing him but uh, he's, he's done a, a fantastic job updating this template so there's obviously there's some things that he doesn't doesn't wish to change uh, or update or up to us to do it ourselves I suppose but anyway if you have the same the same pl the one player character mesh then this is where you change it and if you have the uh, different colors for red team blue team as we normally say this is where you'll change change those materials as well okay so I hope that helps not a lot of difference to what it used to be but it's the guy's doing an amazing job of updating this stuff to, to run in UE5 and uh, we'll just keep on going and plod at it and see where we can get, get it to work okay so see you soon any questions just ping me on my YouTube as a normal okay bye bye